Nine months ago, when I found what I thought was my dream house, my wife didn't really agree. She took one look at this place, including the yard, and said that I was absolutely nuts to think that I could ever get this place back into shape and that I'd never get that lawn to look anything like my old house. And because the landscape and the lawn were so neglected here for years, this had a huge impact on the selling price. The broker told me they probably could have got $100,000 more if this place had had a much more manicured look. Now in just one season, I did all this work myself. It didn't cost a ton of money and the steps were not difficult. And you can adjust these steps to your particular situation. But my first problem was this super tall grass. I wanted to bring this stuff down to a manageable height, but this was crazy. I had to make so many passes and bag so much debris. It took me almost five hours to mow this place. But I finally got it down to about four inches. And when I was done, it certainly looked a lot better, but now we can really see what's going on. Tons of weeds everywhere, bare spots, and this place was a real mess. Now the next and most important step is to get rid of the weeds so that all you'll have left is grass and that will help you get a great lawn. But unfortunately here, these weeds were more than 60% of the lawn. So I'm gonna use a weed and feed product from the Andersons and this stuff has a product called Surgenet. Now this is not something you're gonna use all the time, but if you're starting off and you kinda like need an A-bomb for your lawn, this is a great way to start. You just put it down with a regular rotary spreader. This is one of the easiest ways to kill off a ton of the weeds and also fertilize at the same time. Once you've applied that stuff, you've got to give it some time to work. You want to wait a minimum of two weeks, but in my case, I just put that stuff down a single time, mowed the lawn as usual, and then a month later, these were my results. The lawn looked a lot better, but there were still weeds and I wanted to make an improvement to get these things out of there to make room for the new grass. And now I'm gonna use my secret weapon for weed control. This stuff is called Tenacity. It's rated for over 50 weeds for cool season lawns and it's a professional strength product, but it's easy to work with for a homeowner. And because it treats so many weeds, you'll almost never need to buy any other product to treat the common weeds you're gonna find. With everything mixed up, you're ready to spray. Now the reason I like this liquid is because I'm just spot spraying. That means I'm not just putting chemicals all over the lawn and it gives you total control. You'll only spray what you want. If you're somebody that doesn't mind clover, don't spray that weed. And the other reason I love this stuff is because it doesn't damage the grass. Once you've sprayed the weeds, you're not really gonna see much of anything for about a week. Then as you're looking around, it kinda looks like a mess. You can see these white patches, but those are in fact the weeds dying off. I can move on to the next step and this is super important because this is the part that's going to rebuild your lawn. We're going to accomplish two important jobs in just a single step. You're going to run a machine called the Lawn Aerator and you're going to go around your lawn. It's kind of like mowing it except this machine is going to punch tons of different holes in it and it makes these kind of little pockets. Now when you're done with this, you're gonna buy some brand new grass seed, you're gonna go around your lawn and you're gonna spread that seed just like you're putting down fertilizer. Now if you wanna see every detail, I've got a breakout video that lists exactly what I did during this step. The other benefit is you can take a break. You're not gonna mow the lawn for about four to six weeks. Now that might sound crazy because your lawn is gonna grow again, but you don't wanna damage those new grass seedlings. And after that first mow in early fall, this is the end result. I think you'll agree, this lawn looks nothing like what I started out with. It's greener, fuller, looks way better, and almost all of the weeds are gone. Now you might be surprised by that, that they're not all gone, but unfortunately when you're starting off with a total in-place renovation, you're almost never gonna kill off all the weeds. That's one of the main reasons that I like Tenacity so much. If you see weeds after the fact, you can certainly go ahead and spray them individually without needing to put down a ton of chemical across your entire lawn. And those were all the major steps that I used to whip this lawn into shape, but there were a couple of bonus items you wanna be aware of. The first is that you wanna get your soil tested. Now this is something that can be helpful on a new house or if you're in an existing house but you don't really know what's going on inside that dirt. You take a few samples of soil, put it inside this small vial and you mail it directly to the company. Now this company is called My Soil, and they've made this process so easy. Just stick the thing in the envelope, they're gonna give you a report showing you exactly what's going on inside your soil and what you need to do. This can include things like fertilization, if you're missing micronutrients, or if you've got some kind of major unknown problem with your soil that could affect plant growth. And lastly, watering, of course, is critically important. Now, that's gonna vary depending on where you live. If you get a lot of rain, you may never have to use a sprinkler, but even for me, I still watered the lawn throughout the summer, and if you're doing a renovation, you're gonna have to increase that watering even more to help those new grass seedlings grow. And if you're thinking that paying somebody else is a better option, good luck with that, because I got quotes anywhere from $12,000 to $22,000 to renovate this space. Now, you might think that's insane, but they weren't even easy to get people out to give me a price. They wanted to wipe everything out, replace all the dirt and soil, won't even recommend partially using sod. I didn't agree with any of those ideas, 
This is real proof and hopefully encouragement that anyone can renovate their lawn without spending a fortune. You don't have to dedicate your life to it and you can have a much nicer looking space. If you want more detail on any of these steps, be sure to click on my main channel, look at the lawn care section and you can see individual videos where I did each of these steps at multiple houses and different settings so that you know they really work.